Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Criticism of entertainment is the backbone of improvement. It should be allowed. It should always be there to keep people in check. The publisher, the, the writer, the creator of any form of entertainment, any form of anything, to be honest with you, anything you create, you should welcome any and all criticism, constructive or otherwise, because you're going to get the good with the bad. And when you try to stifle and ban such criticism, well, you need to be called out on it and you need to be shot down on it. And that is definitely the case in this instance of NetEase, NetEase, uh, Marvel Rivals developer NetEase attempts to explain, poorly I'm sure, ban on negative reviews for players with early access. This is no different than some developer trying to send out a DMCA strike or claim or get a video shot down because a content creator said some night not so nice things about their video game, called it out for what it is. But to come from, man, a much bigger developer, I expect Sid Alpha to be making a video on this soon. I can't wait for it. But hey, today you got my sick self. Marvel Rivals developer NetEase attempts to explain its ban on negative reviews for players given early access to the game. Now, when you are given early access to a game, sure, there is a... NDA, there are, there's a contract that you must agree to, you must sign up for in order to talk about the game, review the game, play the game, get that early access, but get the, it's, it's access media. It's no different than the mainstream content creators get these things all the time. If they have, you know, the reputation for being honest, however, I'm almost positive nine out of 10 do not even read the entire thing. And when you get to, we'll, we'll get to this little part of the, the, the agreement shortly. Um, you gotta be careful with some of these. Cause I think if this starts happening more and more, the gaming industry needs to start talk, calling it out 100%, just like this. Marvel Rivals is described by NetEase Games as a superhero team-based PvP shooter. So, Overwatch. It, it's like Overwatch. Okay, cool. Um, assemble an all-star Marvel squad. Didn't, wait, uh, no. I'm thinking of uh, League of Legends. Okay, never mind. Assemble an all-star Marvel squad. Devise countless strategies by combining powers to form unique team up skills and fight in destructible two separate words not if not indestructible in destructible ever changing battlefields across the continually evolving marvel universe the game's trailer looks like an overwatch style game with a marvel skin and you know what there's nothing wrong with that it seems like a pretty cool idea raise your hand if you would play that i mean Given the state, given the current state of Marvel Disney, but still the classics, you put the classic skins, you're going to bring the old school love for Marvel. I don't think that would be too difficult of a thing to accomplish. However, let's see. On May 11th, streamer Brandon Larned, Larned? better known as Seagull, who previously competed as a professional Overwatch player for Luminosity Gaming, NRG Esports team, and a whole bunch of other C. Team Envious and Dallas Fuel revealed that the contract to play the game early had a ban on negative reviews. The content creator, here's where it is. If you don't believe me, I went and looked it up myself. Which one we got? Not there. Here. We'll show you. Yeah, I guess the article is doing it. Non-disparagement. The content creator agrees not to make any public statements or engage in discussions that are detrimental to the reputation of the game. In other words, you are not allowed to criticize the game. This includes, but not limited to, making disparaging or satirical comments about any in-game related material such as a game features, characters, or music. You cannot criticize our game no matter how bad it is. B. Engaging in malicious comparisons? Well, what about not so malicious comparisons? Maybe comparing to what you like and what you don't like. Oh, let me finish it so you understand what the hell I'm saying. Malicious comparisons with competitors, Overwatch, or belittling the gameplay or differences of Marvel Rivals, or providing subjective negative reviews of the game. 
You cannot talk bad about the game. You cannot criticize this game. You cannot compare it to our competitors. You are not allowed to negatively criticize this game in any way, shape, or form. Who on earth is going to agree with this? Hmm. Let's see. Nettie's response to the band on negative reviews telling PC Games in PC Games in that quote the contract is a draft version aiming to <laughs> it's a draft version aiming for long term cooperation with the creators who are interested in Marvel Rivals. Um, well, you shit the bed on this one. The developer added the development team hopes to have more meaningful and consistent feedback, suggestions, and criticism through more in-depth cooperation. Then why on earth would you sit there and say, I'm sorry, but you can't talk bad about our game? Huh. Furthermore, the company stated it was, quote, working on revising terms and will share them back to the content creators community. All terms will go live only when both parties have discussed and have agreed. But you made them sign the contract, agree to the terms of service before they could even check out the game. Now, me personally, now, of course, I have no control over what anyone does with their own playtime, their own channel or anything like that. But personally, that would sour my taste on moving forward with anything coming from NetEase, among other things. But to play test their game, to try to promote their game, let's say, for the sake of argument, I had a rather large um, community following me and i'm sitting there playing video games and people actually respect my opinion uh one way or another they know i'm going to be honest with them hundreds of thousands of people and please share like and subscribe uh <laughs> i have hundreds of thousands of people looking forward to my review of a game and then this comes out net e says hey we see you get a lot of traffic but you need to agree to not talk bad about the game personally you can piss off with that i would Probably do the same thing that old Brandon Larned here is doing and announce it to the entire community over and over again. Make videos on it, which a lot of people are doing in the gaming industry right now. The gaming video game channels, pop culture channels. We're talking about this. Everybody's talking about this because it is a hot subject. So let's see if we can keep going. PC Games and also reported that NetEase shared a message in the game's Discord for content creators. It states, quote, We are aware that there are inappropriate and misleading terms. Misleading terms. Hold on a second. The content creator agrees not to make any public statements or engage in discussions that are detrimental to the reputation of the game. Okay. Y'all help me out. Make a comment. What is misleading about that? Because I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just my little my little pea brain is not understanding that. Let's see. Uh, misle misleading terms. In the commitment regarding sharing non-disparagement content, we sincerely apologize. Too late. Uh, first impressions mean so much, and when that comes out, when this that little clause in the contract comes out, you just ruined a piss poor reputation that you already have. Uh, we sincerely apologize for the miscommunication and your unpleasant experiences. Well, how are they going to have an unpleasant experience if they don't agree to the terms? Anyway, our stand is absolutely open for both suggestions and criticisms. Maybe you shouldn't have put that out there first. To improve our game, NetEase continued. And, whoa. And we are a mission. And we are a mission. And our, I'm going to take out the we. Uh, our mission is to make Marvel Rivals better satisfy players okay so perhaps this is a communication issue considering netease is a chinese developer a chinese company there's got to be a discrepancy in translation something is lost in translation here especially especially this right here uh our mission is to make marvel rivals better by constructive better for player i'm sure uh to better satisfy players by those constructive suggestions oh my goodness this is going to be difficult uh we are now we are now working to revise the miscommunication terms from our commitment this progress will be shared with every creator in a timely manner marvel rivals always welcomes creators to join our community and create amazing contents contents okay i'm gonna go you know what 
<laughs> this may come as a shock, but we're definitely going to keep an eye on this nonsense. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Does NetEase deserve the benefit of the doubt? Possibly. In only one single solitary way, in the fact that if this contract was translated from Chinese to English, but then again, where would the mistranslation be? Help me out. Because that's something, this, this statement here, we are now working on revising. This, in, this entire, this is a lost in translation thing, for sure. English is not your first language. But to have a contract typed up for early access to be that bad, that egregious, to try and knock down any and all negative criticism of your game will, first of all, leave a bad taste in the player's mouth. They're not going to be interested in playing the final game. Why on earth would I if you don't want anybody to criticize your game? What's going to happen after that? If you take this little clause out of there and regular average dope people go out and play the game and start comparing it to Overwatch because that's what it is. It's an Overwatch clone with a Marvel skin. What, on, what new are you going to be able to do? Poet and I didn't know it. And then after that, no, they don't want comparisons, even though it's obvious. They don't want criticism, even though everything gets criticized, no matter how much you like it, no matter how much one group or one demographic absolutely loves Fallout. There's going to be others out there who are going to analyze it and criticize it. Doesn't mean you can't like it. Doesn't mean you can't dislike it. It's okay. Yes, I was just watching a video. Anyway, so dating this fucking video. Where do you go from here as a player? Do you give them the benefit of the doubt or do you say, screw you, NetEase, I'm not even going to bother trying it, even though, even if it comes out in early access, no matter how many people say how much fun it is, but that's for you to decide, vote with your wallet, make your own decisions, but listen to all, any and all criticism, constructive or otherwise. But let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike, do all those nifty little things us YouTubers beg you to do. And I hope to see you on the next one.